What's up, boys and girls? Empire Steve here with you again. Today is Friday, the last day of the week, and I want to go over the trades, the trade I made today. And first, let's go ahead and look at SPY and the and the Qs, and uh, so we can kind of see what the overall market looked like this morning. And you can see it gapped up from the the lows of yesterday and gapped back up. So we got the low of 380. Um, what might yeah 380 was the low of yesterday. So yeah, gapped back up to 383. Here in the uh, mid 383s, and when the market opened this morning at 4 a.m., um, it did look bearish um, after that, but that's expected. And we expect pullbacks, and we expect you, you need pullbacks so so that stuff can continue to the upside uh, once that pullback is over. And uh, you know, it made a correction and it reversed, and had a small dip here. Both the Qs and Spy did did essentially the same thing. They look identical, as you can see. Um, we've gone over this so many times. You can see um, we had this V-shape recovery that we were expecting yesterday um, when when the market dipped, and that did not come. That was because the ten-year bonds. Uh, if you if you looked at other watched other videos or watching CNBC, um, which was scaring everybody, and the the rates the rates were going were going up, and that's apparently when the when the stock market goes down and people start selling. Um, their positions. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. It is something I'm going to be learning over the next couple of days and weeks so I can, you know, try and like learn as much stuff as I possibly can for future reference. But um, I recommend you, get you guys doing all the same thing. So uh, we definitely had that V shaped recovery that we did not get yesterday. Yesterday was disgusting. It was just straight down, zoom down. You saw my video yesterday, and it was not if you saw my video yesterday, I lost money. And I did not want to lose money today. Not, not again. I was, I was actually scared. Um, but I'm going to go over what I traded real fast, as fast as I possibly can. And uh, I traded Tesla. And I purchased a, and it was around here. I could see that V-shaped recovery come. I thought maybe it would come here. So I didn't get in yet because I wasn't seeing the MACD or the stochastic crossing on the five minute. It definitely was not crossing on the 15 minute. Like it was already in an uptrend and it was going down up until about right here. And it still looks bearish on the 15 minute, but you can't really always just go off of the 15 minute um, uh, because it, you know, my, my plan is to not be in the trade that long. So I, I technically use the five minute for, for my exit and my entry, my entry and my exit. And you can see on the five minute, um, bearish, 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 still bearish, still bearish until right here at 1040. And I got into my, I got a 685 Tesla call. And the reason why I got a 685 Tesla call is because I thought possibly 700 would be a target that we could achieve, on, you know, by the end of the day, if need be. And I didn't want to wait till the end of the day. So I waited for the premiums to go down on the Tesla calls. And I was like, I want, I looked at a 685 Tesla call this morning before the, when the market opened up right here. And um, I was like, okay, I almost grabbed them then. And I, I didn't, I didn't because this candle, this, this uh, first candle of the day, you can just see after that super dookie bloodbath, like disgusting. The cues were doing the same thing. Like it was just not good. Uh, Tesla was bearish from the very get go. Like it made that high of 706 and then bearish. So, um, so anyway, I got the 685 Tesla call just because I thought that would be an achievable number. Um, I would recommend maybe going like if you're getting in down here at 660, they're kind of expensive. Um, I want to say they're over a thousand dollars each the, on any of the 660, uh, 665, 670, 675. So I got a 685 call right at. Um, I got to look at my notes here. I got a 685 call at 1048. So here's 1040, 1045, right here, 1048. And I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted to see Tesla at the VWAP before I, before I got in. I, if I would have got in down here, it would have been like $500 I paid for it. But I, I wanted to wait, make sure that we were going to be going up, going up in an uptrend, um, and staying in an uptrend. And uh, it was, it was a little bit sketchy. Um, at some point, I'll show you that in a second. But I paid, I got mine at six forty-eight, or sorry, ten forty-eight. I paid seven dollars and twenty-five cents for one, which actually equals seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. And I sold it at eleven thirty-seven. So eleven thirty-seven is in is in this area, actually in this area. So this is five-minute candle. So it's right right in this area. So at this time, at the time, Tesla was six hundred and ninety. We'll call it six ninety-one, and it was a six eighty-five call. So I was $6, almost $7 in the money. Um, so 
that was good. Um, I did get freaked out here, but I went to go get. I was like, you know what? I thought that this would be a little a little dip and then a, and then another and then another run, and that's essentially what happened. So right in this area, I put in a stop at this price. I think I think um, Tesla was around like seven seven dollars and something. Like I was almost even on the contract. Maybe I was down like fifty bucks. So I put in a stop because I knew I was walking away. So I put my stop in at five dollars. I was only I paid seven twenty five. And I was only willing to lose um, 200, 250 dollars, so I knew that if I put it at five, it potentially could get hit. And then, um, and actually, it's happened to me before. I've had a stop in at on at fifty cents on. I think it was. I can't remember what position it was. I had it on fifty and on Weeble, and Weeble screwed me. Um, it sold it. It hit. It hit my. It it didn't even. It went below fifty, and it actually sold my my calls. Or yeah, at forty. So I lost an extra ten dollars per contract, um, which wasn't fun. And you know what happened? As soon as it hit my forty, it never saw forty or never saw forty again. It never saw fifty. I literally, it literally hit my stop. And uh, since then, I've been a little bit sketchy about putting in stops. So I gave this one extra room. Um, I had it all the way down at five. It never even got close to five. So that that was groovy. So as soon as I was eating my food, and I could see, I could see in this candle, it was like eleven thirty. And I could see it starting to, to make a little run, and I ate my food as fast as I possibly could. I can see I can see the the uh, on my phone. I was on my phone. I was downstairs, and I can see Tesla's making a run. I can see the Qs were making a run all at the same time. Uh, Spy was making a run, so I was hurrying up, eating my food, so I can get in here. Sold it. I sold it at 11:37, like I'd already said in this candle, and I sold it for twelve dollars and eighteen cents, which really is twelve twelve hundred eighteen dollars. Um, remember, I paid seven twenty five. So my profit on that was uh, pretty good. I profited four hundred and ninety-two dollars and eighty cents, which is, which is most of my losses from yesterday. Um, actually, I think it was all of my losses from yesterday. But I am down on the day, uh, or not the day, on the week. I'm down on the week about two hundred and eighty-two dollars and seventy cents. But that's fine because I was up on the week last week, and I was up on the week the week before, and uh, that, that's fine. That's you're gonna have red days. You're gonna have red weeks. Um, it's just really about sticking to your plan, which I did not do yesterday. Um, making a plan, having a plan is, is key. Sticking to the plan is even more key. And uh, just kind of mitigating your losses. You don't, you don't want to just blow up your account. You don't want to go all in on a position um, with everything, with all your money in your account. You know, you don't, you just want to, you, you just want to take small, small risk and, and just mitigate damage. So as long as you guys can keep doing that and girls can keep doing that. You should be groovy if you're sticking to this plan. You can see stochastic bearish on the five minute bearish, 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 bearish. Makes this run up here at 1045 is when it starts starts to curl actually right here at 1035. That's why I got in at 1037, I think it was. And uh, yep, that's what I got in at. Um, no, I got in at 1048, so I lied. So yeah, I got in at 1048, got out at 1137. So I wanted to make sure it was making the turn and it and it did and it stuck to it. And uh, we won. Look at Tesla is still going up. It's gonna make me wish I stayed in them. Actually, let's go see what those 685s are now. Oh yeah, those are groovy. So we're gonna look at this quote. You can see the quote. This is the actual option chain, and it got to a low of three dollars this morning. At 10:30, it was three bucks. Man, I wish I bought like three of them, four of them right there. Because man, oh man, you could have made a could have made a lot of money off those. Um, anyway, I got one. I didn't want to risk it for the biscuit, um, so yep, I played I played it safe, and you can see it's still moving up. It's still over twelve twelve dollars, over twelve hundred dollars per, and that's pretty that's pretty nice. So, but it doesn't matter, you know what? Because I made money today, and I'm done, and it's twelve twelve ten right now, so it's it's groovy. I am down for the week, like I said, but oh well. Next week is going to be a better week. We're all going to have a green week next week. So on that note, if you guys have anything you want me to go over um, for a, maybe a potential you know, different video, just you know leave a comment in the comments section. Um, if you guys want me to talk about anything or, or go over anything anything else, just let me know. If you like the videos I'm making, you want me to keep making videos, hit that like button, hit subscribe so I know you guys want me to keep making videos. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a good rest of, uh, of the day for sure. And we'll see you next week. Take care.